I would just like to say, though, that Mavis has dedicated herself 40 years to working with the spirit world and has really helped um, the movement, the cause, and the, the awareness that there is no death, that life continues on. And um, I, we all, these days, over our gratitude for doing this work. So, uh, on behalf of the mediums of the United States, I would like all of you to stand up and let's give Mavis a standing ovation. Much to say. So uh, anyway, I would like to, Mavis, would you please? Thank you. That's my welcome remarks. Let the grand dame take over. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much, James. <laughs> it's very, very nice to be here. What a lovely sanctuary we're in this evening. And it's absolutely beautiful. And it'll become a sacred space over the weekend. And that's really what we're looking at. We're looking at the, the spiritual side, the essence, not only of the building, but of the very atmosphere. And because you touch this atmosphere, you will change this space. And it'll become a very special space. It'll become sacred. And all who will walk through these doors years to come will feel uplifted because of your presence here. And if you are thinking to yourself, well, I'm not a medium, and I never want to be a medium, it's wonderful that we've got you here. Because your presence is going to be so important. Because there is a human spirit, and it's the courage, and it's the purpose of the human spirit that really we're going to share this weekend. And that's a wonderful thought that you are spirit here and now and that you will leave an essence of your spirit behind and that's very very important that as we go through life we sprinkle our own special essence of the spirit within and it's like the droplets of god that touch every soul who enters this space and when we look at that we begin to recognize that our shoulders can go back and our heads can come up. We haven't got a label perhaps, but we've got something more precious than a label. We've got that essence of the great spirit residing within us. And all of you who are here, whoever you touch in your life, you will give them an essence of your healing power, your prayer, your living prayer, not the prayer on your hands and knees, but the living prayer, the prayer of service to humanity. What greater gift can you have than that? And for those of you who are already wearing the label, even there, this progress that you're making towards this opening and embracing all that you are and all that you are going to become, that again is a blessing for humanity. And really, that's what we're about, you know. Unfortunately, sometimes when you get on a cycle and a wheel of mediumship, sometimes you can lose the essence of what it's all about because you become tired and worried and a little bit dispirited at times because it's not working as you would want it to work. But remember that the essence of your spirit knows the direction of your mediumship. And if you will go with the wonderful psychic stream that's there and let it take you along, then goodness gracious me, you will become a happy medium. <laughs> and there's nothing more important than happiness within your mediumship. If you're happy, you'll be caring. If you're caring, you'll be sharing. If you're sharing, then you're giving. And ladies and gentlemen, to me, that's the essence of mediumship. It's about the joy of the continuous personality 
that can share itself with humanity. And that's who you are. So shoulders back, lift your chin, be brave, be courageous, because you'll need it. <laughs> Believe you me, never criticize yourself. The reason you don't need to do that is there are hundreds of people who are going to do it for you. <laughs> All you need to know is that you're growing, that your experiences, and your experiences is life matter. And when you've got that, you've got everything you know. And I know this weekend we're going to be sharing a lot, but remember that whatever we say and whatever we do, it's our opinion. It's what has come through our pathway, our chosen choice of the reality of mediumship. I remember when I first came in to mediumship and I was sat like you are sat and Gordon was giving a lecture on something. Gordon Higginson, of course, um, I just loved him to death. I don't mean he died because I loved him. What I mean is I just loved him totally. He was a wonderful, wonderful tutor. Hmm. Really got that wrong, didn't I? It's a good start. Um, but I remember sitting there and I remember the tutor uh, talking to us and Gordon was talking to us about a certain aspect of mediumship and I thought, oh, I can't believe that, that's not right for me. And I remember feeling quite uncomfortable with myself that I couldn't actually understand his way and his terminology. I can't remember what he was talking, it was something to do with, um, with God and I thought, oh no, no, that doesn't suit me at all. And I, I remember going into a state of being where I started to criticize myself because was I wrong to believe my way? Should I really believe in absolutely everything he was saying? And it's later on, you know, a few months on that you start to get to recognize that actually it's a road of many ways. It's a philosophical outpouring. And there may be ideas and theories and philosophies that are coming over to you this weekend. And you'll think, no, that doesn't really rest easy with me. James has changed me tremendously. Because I wasn't really an angel person, was I? You know, I mean, loves angels. And, um, you know, so constantly we have to be looking beyond what we recognise is our truth now so that we're ready to experience another part of the whole of what it's all about. So if you hear one of us saying something to you this weekend and you think, mm, that doesn't suit me, and I'll know you know, because I can see auras, so I'll know if you get this off. <laughs> I'll know if you shut down from us, believe you me. But what I'm trying to say to you is that during the period there may be words and thoughts and experiences that we post to you that may have to go into the subconscious to perhaps be viewed in another few months or another few years. Because we don't dismiss anything that we're taught or anything we share or anything that we relate to as a whole. We actually, it goes into the subconscious and then later on you think, I can see why that was said now. So come on this journey with us and make it a journey. You are enlightened already, but let us be just a little candle flame on that enlightenment of your own. And perhaps, who knows, from this weekend, you may glean a rich harvest that you may not be able to harvest for another few years. Remember, it's a journey. There is no destination. Just a journey. Thank you.